Hi everyone, just thought I'd show you a quick plumbing tip that could save you probably 60 or 70 pound of it it would cost you if you called a plumber out to do this and it is so easy I really don't think anybody would need to call a plumber for this I'm sure tons of people do I'm sure the average charge from a plumber is going to be at least 60 pound for the first hour of the time and this part to do this from B&Q is £4.50 so you're probably going to have the £60 charge off the plumber and then he's probably going to he's going to get it even cheaper than that because he's going to get it at trade price and no doubt he'll probably on the bill he'll probably mark it down as having cost double what it actually did so I don't see you having any change down of £70 for doing this job and all we're doing is the inlet valve into your toilet which is this part here so basically what this is on the bottom of that is your, your main water pipe so that's where your water comes in from underneath comes up the spout here and it's being stopped at the top of the valve there and the way your toilet works when you flush the toilet your water is going to go down at which point this ball will sink and take the pressure off this little valve and let the water in I'll just show you how that works so, so as it drops your bowl will drop and then the water will start coming through and as the water is filling up this ball rises pushing on this little pin just there and that's pushing in a washer inside there and that stops that stops the valve letting the water through now I'm doing this a bit back to front I actually changed this last week I didn't think to film it at the time but it's that easy I don't I don't think I need to I think you'll still be able to see no problem now how to do it now the reason I changed it, all it was, was a, a little drip after it filled up and saw the washers wear out inside so it come up to where it should stop and it'd just be a little drip but during the course of the day when I was at work I would get out and I kept checking it because it was gradually getting a little bit higher and a little bit higher so I thought eventually I'm going to come out one day and find my carpet soaked because this toilet doesn't actually have, a, have an outlet for the water to escape so if that valve does fail it's just going to fill right to the top and then it is just going to overflow and be landing on the floor so from B&Q this car costs £4.50 which you get the whole system apart from the balls not on there so that you just take the ball off the one that's already there that just unscrews anti-clockwise so as you'll see on this thing there's really nothing to it it's just a straight hollow pipe down to the bottom with a rubber washer on it so I'll show you how it works so if you ever want to adjust them as well it's easy to adjust um, how, how high you want this to come up when this gets to the top obviously it pushes that little pin in and stops the water now if you undo that little nut you can see there you can then get a screwdriver on there you can screw it in the way or out the way so if you screwed it out of the way this ball would raise higher and let the water level get a bit higher or if it's a bit too high screw it in the way and then it hits the pin a bit sooner and you get the level just the way you want it uh, most toilets do have a little mark there is one just on that level so you know what height you're supposed to have it for your particular toilet so it's a very simple part and uh, this little piece here you just once it's in you put that on have it against the side it's just kind of counterbalancing the fact that this is pushing up so I suppose if that wasn't on there it'd be tending to push over the whole thing you'd be pushing over a bit and I suppose be a little bit more chance of it potentially leaking so all that is at the bottom you might be able to make it out there's just a black black washer on the bottom which seals the hole up to prevent the water from leaking I'll show you what we've got underneath yeah, just get a little bit of light on the scene. Yeah. Most things these days, most plumbers will fit them. This is called um, service valve. And all this is basically the way to turn the water off just to this toilet rather than having to turn the main stopcock off and turning the water off to your entire house. So you can just work on something individually makes life easy what you'll find that's got a screw in there and when the slot is in line with the thing that's it 
that's letting the water through and you turn it so the screws sort of that way and that's turning the water off so that's no problem that's a fairly quick job so just get the screwdriver in there just turn it a quarter of a turn you'll get a little dribble of water out of these most of the time just when you turn it that's not a problem it only happens as you turn it that'll, that'll just stop and to take these valves out literally all you've got to do is undo this knot here that's the actual bottom of the the inlet pipe so say your water's coming up this pipe so get a spanner or some adjustable pliers on there you can undo that most of the way it won't come right down because the, the valves there so loosen that off it won't be too tight it's only a plastic once you've undone that one then get your pliers on this plastic knot at the top here you'll probably be able to undo that most of the way down and then you'll have a bit of play and oh, first of all what I meant to say was flush the toilet to get most of the water out after you've turned this off and then you'll have to get a sponge or something in there and just soak all the water out so it's completely dry before you do this and so once you've un undone this a bit you'll get some movement on it then and basically what you, can, what you can do once you've got a bit of movement on it you can just kind of lean in with the, your one arm pull this up a little bit and then that'll allow you to completely undo that watered inlet pipe and the plastic nut now once you've got that off literally just grab the whole thing and it, it just lifts out then you've got a big rubber washer on the bottom and you'll get your new one sometimes will come with this arm detached so you'll just have from that point downwards you'll have a new rubber washer I think there's a washer underneath I remember rightly as well just a little plastic one so if you do come without this attached it's very simple it's hard to see while it's on there but it's just you can see the little hook thing that you just push it onto and it just snaps in place it's dead simple so it probably won't come with a ball so you just unscrew this off your other one so that's you got your new one assembled and ready to go so all you'll do you'll put your big thick rubber washer on the bottom of it that tends to be flat on the one side the flat side faces up to the bottom of this plastic white tube is flat just push the flat side against that the other side of it's a bit beveled it's sort of narrowed and kind of now curved so it actually does push down into the hole a little bit to make sure you've got a good a good seal on it and uh, put this little screw in before before you slot it in place that's normally just sitting loose in the bag so that just screws in and I say all you want to do is get that to a point where when it's sitting level get it all bolted up first and then just adjust that so it's only loose just touching against it and that's just going to counterbalance the fact that it's going to be pushing that direction with the pressure of this ball lifting up and you come back down the bottom I can't actually remember now whether there was a little washer underneath that or not. There might be, if there's just a little thin washer then that would go underneath there but it might actually not be thinking about it. So again, drop it down, you'll have to hold it up a little bit so you can get your, get your nut on there because obviously this will only pull down so far out of the way. So put it in a little bit, get your plastic nut, do it up so far then when that's, that's reaching the bottom of it you can start to do that up a little bit as well. Gradually, if you're doing that, we're not going to be able to do this as it's coming down. Before you've done this fully, get that reasonably tight. And then, again, with this plastic one, get that good and tight. It's only a plastic thread, so you, you don't have to go really crazy swinging on it. Just get it so you feel like you've, you've done it reasonably tight. Not a lot of pressure at all, really. And double check you've done that one up. Again, don't go crazy on it, because it's only a plastic thread. Then I would say, turn your valve back on again, nice and simple. What I would say to actually do is just turn that on a little bit, you'll hear the water starting to go into the system again. Just let it fill up maybe at a, to about there or something, turn, turn the valve back off again. Then just keep an eye on here 
pattern at the bottom of the toilet where your big rubber seal is going to be. Dry it off with some tissue like you're about to have a little dribs of water from when you've took it all apart. Give it a minute or two, just double check that you're not leaking from here or this knot. If it all appears to be well, turn it on, fill the system up completely. And you've got the full weight of it in there. Have another little check under here. Flush it, make sure it's all working. <coughs> you will then have to see where your level comes to because obviously this is maybe not going to be adjusted just right. So, so you will see there's a little line on your toilet. So you want the water to basically to stop there. So undo that nut, be ready with a screwdriver. You get to roughly where you think it's, it's going to be. If it's looking like the water's still coming in really quick, then start to screw that in the way and that will push. So you just have to a little adjustment till you get it just about right. And you're pretty well good to go. And you've just saved yourself £60. And literally, this is so simple. It's, I mean, it'd be ridiculous to call a plumber for this. I reckon, literally, you could show this to a 10 year old kid, and I reckon they'd be able to do it. The other thing on this particular one, now this ball actually moves about, so I suppose it just sits wherever it, it finds itself comfortable. And you see we're quite close to that. Now on this particular one you have got a little bit of adjustment and you can see there's two tiny little black clips here. And what you can do before you put it in, you can just hold it in place to see roughly where you've got to go and if it looks like you need to adjust it, push those two clips out. Then this inner piece here is it just pulls out a bit so if you needed to make it a bit longer if it was maybe hitting against that you can pull it out a little touch when you've got it the right the right distance push these two little clips back in and that's it all done what a job i'm going to do soon which i will make a video of this time round. i'm going to change this to one of the dual flush systems and the good thing about the new the new ones as well and i say this hasn't got a pipe if i do have an overflow it would just hit the floor and some of these new systems the dual flush ones they actually work in a way that the water comes sort of like to about the top of here there is a little a little hole at the top of some of them so the water actually ends up going in there and it would just trickle into your toilet without it being flush so it would prevent that accident happening of the system over flowing over and flooding the place while you're out I think you can pick them up for sort of 20 pound these days. That'd be a bit bigger job to do, but still not rocket science. So when I get round to doing that, I will actually do a video video of me actually doing that job, being that's a little bit more more involved in that one. So I hope this has been of help to you. It really is dead simple. You'll you'll do this even if you're not good at DIY. I reckon you'll have this done in 20 minutes, and you've saved yourself a good 60 quid. If I doubt you'll find a plumber that comes out for less than £60 for the first hour. And I say that part's £4.50 from B&Q. And now the way most, most tradesmen work, he'll get it for even less than that because he's getting it at trade price. He'll get it for probably about £3.80. And no doubt when he marks it down on the bill, it'll be marked down for more like £7 or £8. So, very, very simple job. Stick your lid back on. Job done. Easy peasy. I hope this has been helpful for you. See you next time. Bye.